So we're out here at Harbour City. Uh, there's a nice flat bar here. And I'm trying my hardest to figure out a front feeble. And I kind of figured out that this is the back pocket you want to, if you're goofy, this is the back pocket you want to be in because you want to stay on top because each time I get out, the board falls because my weight is incorrect. Um, I got a few earlier that were kind of dog shit, but I want to see if I can get like a really decent length, nice one, and then I can try to break it down. If anyone else sucks up this trick like I do, this might help you. That's like the number one common thing is like slipping into the front board, which is fine. That's probably the worst case. Uh, another worst case, which I hope that doesn't happen, is you ollie too high and you end up on the other side of the rail because you want to lock here. But if you ollie too high, you'll lock here and then you'll just fall out. And here, so show, show us the lock with your hands here. Okay. So I feel like there's people like, like me who don't understand what the fuck you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like the lock is there. So, so you want the lock of, to I be think, on that side, yeah, on your toe I feel side. Like you want to squash this wheel here, I think. Because then when you come out, if your weight's in the right spot, it'll just kind of fall out. Whereas my problem is, my weight's all over the place, so when I get out, it goes like this. Yeah. And then I kind of... Yeah. Can't get the proper one. pop out. Yeah, so I really want to be able to like lock it. I wish my foot could be over there. That'd be sick, but my feet, like... I try to pop from there, it doesn't work. I just have to pop normally, but I'm trying to land like over here. So you want to keep pretty much all of your weight right over the pinch. Yeah, pretty much. And your problem is sometimes it's not. And then you have to like kind of push the, the trick in front of you. So you're in the back seat. But I'm always in the middle, so then when I come out, I'll step off and just go like this. Yep. And it sucks. There's a, there's a prime example of... Uh, I, th I felt like I pinched it right, but my weight wasn't back, so I just stopped. <laughs> yeah, so it's like you're on it. But your weight's not in the right place to like no. push it forward, I'm so you're in, sticking. And I just stuck and went forward. Yep, so. yep. It's weird, you want to kind of put the trick in front of you. If that yeah, makes sense. it's like when you're on a chunky curb, you yeah, kind of want to send like, it. Yeah. Be back seat, so let's see if I can do one. Woo. That's another thing that happened. <laughs> I feel like I'm showing you every little possibility that can go wrong with the front feeble. My weight wasn't correct, so that's why I fell out like that. Um, I want to try to, I'm trying to get on like, yeah. I feel like I'm popping from here, so I want to try to get in here. So and past the center of the rail? Yeah, like say, wherever you pop, it's like another foot until you get on, so. Yep. I just want to get on and out nicely. See how when I got out, my board is like. Yeah. Do it again. I didn't get out clean. It was kind of like this. I want to yep. be like. Bam! Bam! Both both wheels front back hit at the same time. Do it again. What I have to say, I thought I thought of something. Oh, I have to try to like pop from here. Yep. So when I get on, my foot's not on the nose because I've landed a few and my foot's been like this directly yep. over the nose and it sucks. We got to get one for the hard post because it clipped yeah. right when you landed. You need a hard post. Hard post for a hard blow. Again. Also. What Dan told me with the back feeble is that it's a baby pop because in my head I try to pop as hard as I can onto anything. With this trick, it's literally not a baby pop. It's not a hard pop. It's like the most gentle baby pop because you don't want to land over the top. You want to land like on. Yeah, it's finesse. Yeah, it's like a gentle little puck. It's not like, ooh. Yeah. Alright. Get this one for the hard post. That one felt better. I felt like I consciously tried to stay back and put my foot, my front foot back too. But let's uh, let's do a few more and see what the outcome is. We're doing a science experiment right here. This is uh, skateboarding science. Hell yeah. Oh, that was a sick one too. That was all boned out. Yeah, I want to do it boned out because the boned out ones look great. And uh, yeah, I just need to suck my front foot back, so. I wave this forward again. What a battle this has become. My back foot wasn't in the right spot, I guess. So it looks like you're leaning on your heels, which is why, more on your heel, which is why it's flipping out when you land. Yeah. Uh, so more, yeah. So more, you want to be more on the, pinch on the pinch and less on the heel. Yeah, I'm a heel side type of guy. Got it.
This is a weird toe pinch. Oh, oh there you go. See, I rolled too high and my I went to the other side of the rail. So I believe you want to try to stick to the same side that you come from because if you ollie too high, you'll end up drifting, which I just did. So that's what's tricky, huh? Because it's like you want to stay on the same side that you came from so you don't flip out, yeah. but you also need to have your weight on your toes for the pinch. Yeah. So it's like a Michael Jackson situation. <laughs> but that's they're like I pretty much showed you all the things that go wrong with front feebles. Yeah. So I just got to try to show you how to do a good one. It's like you want your weight back where you came from, but the pressure onto your toes. Yeah, exactly. That's a weird one. I didn't hop at all. <laughs> <laughs> Thought that was it. It locked, it slipped on, so I just, I couldn't stop my weight from going forward. So you're struggling with like getting it to kind of slide forward down the rail. Yeah, because in my head I'm like, put my legs in front of me and stay here. But I'm so used to getting on in the middle, I just kind of fall off. Yeah, and it just digs in and you fall. Yeah. Counts, counts, Oh. That's enough, yeah, that was like a stupid one. Sometimes they just come out stupid, you know? We came to Harbour this morning and I was like, I'm just gonna practice front feebles the whole time. And I have been, so it's gotta pay off, I hope. You got a day one and Hoslin in the back row. I feel like once you get into one and you feel where the weight needs to be, it's really simple. But just trying to get into that right spot in your body and in your mind on the skateboard is what's difficult. It's all about the mind, bro. Yeah. That was like baby pop. Like ease up on the rail, keep my weight back, and hold my weight back too. Because I can hold my weight back and all of a sudden it goes forward. And then coming out, it's like a lift. Yeah. But there's so many different ways to do this trick. Everybody says a different thing, but that's helped the most to me is like, keep your weight obviously on your toes in the back seat and try to suck your front foot back. And uh, stay parallel with the rail, I guess. Yeah. Because how I used to do them, I used to think, oh, I'll just try a front board, but keep my truck on. It doesn't work like that. You've got to be like almost like a front 50 and like miss your front truck, as scary as that sounds. But yeah. Sick. That's about it. Maybe we should do a slow mo one. This is the process of coming up with a video, folks. Yeah. Sometimes you just got no idea. No idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a big part of learning new tricks or brushing up on tricks that you're trying to master and get in the bag is having to do them a lot. Caden yep. was battling his front 50, All day. which he got. <laughs> that was a pain. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're going to Denny's. We are going to Denny's for lunch. <laughs> we're going to Denny's. Yeah, he was like frustrated and then he took a break for a minute, came back to it and it kind of it kind of clicked. He kind of figured out what he needed to do. And it, also at the same time, the trick kind of figures itself out as well. Yeah. You yeah. just have to keep kind of doing it. Like there's a muscle memory and then there's like the brain thing is, I don't know what the brain thing is called, the mental. Yeah, it's like um, telepathy. Yeah. Like, mental skateboard like telepathy. Like you get the body map for the trick. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people will be like, how do you do this trick? How do you do that trick? And like, usually I try to tell you guys, but it's just a matter of getting out there and then trying to do them. Like that front feeble, I was probably doing, I probably did about 40 front feebles. Like all day. Yeah. That's all you were doing. That's all I was doing was just like, my main concern was just trying to get a front feeble. And I got a few kind of figured out the trick further so you got to make sure that you can like not become discouraged when you're trying to learn a new trick because you suck at it yeah. i suck at front feebles i'm trying to get better at them they come easy for some some tricks come easy for people some tricks don't like tony hawk had to work really hard 
for his career. <laughs> and he <laughs> yeah. had to, like he had to work really hard. At yeah, there's no natural talent. Yeah, like you have to just work at it. But uh, yeah, I told Caden that if he got his front 50 50, he would go to Denny's going for lunch. Denny's. So we're going to Denny's. All American diner experience. And my breakfast coke. He's this is he, American. We, right we rolled up to Mac McDonald's in the morning. He goes, I go, do you want anything? He goes, give me a large coat. Yeah. 10 a.m. It's a dollar. It's a dollar. I'm a product of McDonald's. Man. <laughs> I would have gotten that 50 50 if it wasn't for McDonald's. <laughs> we made it to Denny's. I've ordered three hash browns and Caden got a grand, grand slam. slam. We've got the maple syrup on deck. Oh. Look at that. Look at this dude. He literally just buys three orders of hash things. browns for lunch. Yeah. Look at this Potato. Dude. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Make sure you. Go and check out eveningmob.com. Free stickers with every order. Shipping internationally. Shipping to Australia is back on. Thank God. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully this helped you. It definitely helped me re-watching it to kind of remember what I need to do next time for a front feeble. And yeah, thanks for the support. Cheers for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. On your way back, bring me his son. On, on, on.